Good morning, my Molly May. I hope you had a very nice sleep. I think you've been very busy for Christmas. I saw you in your elf suit. You look like you were very tired. Um, and you went for a swim in the pool. <gasps> that's exciting. I think that's very good. Hopefully you'll be able to do a little kick, kick, kick. And you can come and swim in Nanny Deb and Poppy Brett's pool when you come over. Now today, I have a ukulele here again. I'm going to sing you a Christmas song. And then I'm going to read you a book called The Hippopotamus on the Roof. Oh, it's a bit shiny. The Hippopotamus on the Roof is eating Christmas cake. <laughs> I wonder if you've got one of those. <laughs> but do you remember a ukulele? It has four strings, has beautiful sound, and you can play all sorts of songs on it. But today, and I've got some music that's here just to remind me, because Nanny Deb sometimes gets a bit like, <laughs> I sort of forget while I'm doing something and I'm excited. <laughs> okay, you ready? This one's called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And I used to sing it on your mummy's bed and your Uncle Ben's bed when they were little first thing Christmas morning because Nanny, Nanny Deb gets all excited have to sing on the end of their bed. I don't think they liked it, but secretly I think they did. So hopefully if we see you next Christmas, we can go and sing on everybody's bed for Christmas carols. Okay, so ready? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows like a light bulb. All of the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names like Pinocchio. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games like Monopoly. Then one foggy Chris, whoop, then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, oop, okay, oop. And then he, the chorus always gets me. I practice and practice, but I get excited. Rudolph, oh, then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him. Oh, then all the reindeer loved him. And they shouted out with glee, yippee! Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. You'll go down in history. You can sing that for your mummy. Or mummy will sing it to you. And then you can learn how to clap your hands with it. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Can you do that? You clapping your hands with Nanny Deb? I hope so. Had a very shiny nose. And if he ever saw it, we'll go a bit faster. He could even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide your sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him, and they shouted out with glee, Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, you go down in history. Did you clap your hands with Nanny Dip? I hope so. So, I had to try and didn't realise the shine was so terrible here for this. Right, that's a bit better. The hippopotamus on my roof is eating Christmas cake. That sounds very exciting. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. The hippopotamus on our, on our roof is eating Christmas cake. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that looks very exciting. It looks like a lot of fun. And this one is by Hazel Edwards. I wonder if there really is a hippopotamus. There's a little boy He's saying, Oh, our roof is noisy. Thump, thump, thump. What is that? Hmm? <laughs> 
My daddy says there's a man fixing the tiles on the roof. But I know why there's a noise. There's a hippopotamus on our roof getting ready for Christmas. And he's excited just like me. <laughs> Do you think he's banging a drum? Boom, boom, boom. Shine is terrible on this. We're going to have to find a better spot. Oops, a daisy. Let's make some. That a little bit better. Yes. Good. Oh dear. <laughs> My hippopotamus really likes cake. He's making a big Christmas cake, I know, because I heard him. Bang, clatter, crash. There's a hippopotamus on our roof and he's icing the cake. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. <laughs> I wonder if it is a hippopotamus. I wonder if it is somebody on the roof. Did your daddy get on the roof and fix things? Your daddy's very handy. Oh, what's he doing now? Christmas is my best time. We make stars balls and paper chains. My big brother hangs them up and I help too. I make my present list for Santa. My hippopotamus is still working on his list. <gasps> what's, on, what's on the hippopotamus's list? He wants cake, smiley cake, jelly cake, footy cake, green cake, banana cake, chocolate cake, funny cake, fruity cake, dotty cake, spotty cake, Kitty cake, robot cake, jigsaw cake. I think the hippopotamus likes cake. So does Nanny Deb. <laughs> oh, what's he doing there dancing? Do you do dancing when it's Christmas time as well? I hope so. My hippopotamus loves to dance. He practices a lot. Mummy asks about the dancing. Is it hip hop? No. Is it waltz? No. Is it special? Yes. There's a special hippopotamus on our roof doing his special Christmas cake dance. Wow. What kind of music would they be playing for a special cake dance? It's not his special circus dance when she's doing tricky things. <laughs> Uh-oh. There might be an accident with the Christmas tree. No. Yesterday, we decorated our Christmas tree. Daddy put the star and I made, I made right on top. But my star was a bit wobbly and it fell off three times. My hippopotamus on the roof was sad. He accidentally sat on the Christmas tree with his big wobbly bottom. <laughs> Nanny has a big wobbly bottom. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Ah, oh, look, there's the Christmas tree. Oh, there's the hippopotamus hiding, but oh, what's the Christmas? What's he got in his Christmas tree? There's lamingtons and carrots and donuts, cherries, hats and cake. <laughs> that looks like a good Christmas cake, doesn't it? My hippopotamus can fix anything. He made his Christmas tree look as good as new. And look how lovely it is. Wow. That does look pretty nice. It's very delicious. There's a hippopotamus on our roof being busy. We make cards with pictures of reindeer and Santa and trees and stars. We add glitter and sparkles. Then we give them to the family and friends and I wrap the present for my hippopotamus. Wow. The hippopotamus has got one. Oh, he's got one as well for the little boy. It says, from Hippo. It's his friend. <laughs> oh dear, I wonder what he's doing. Tonight, I was happy. The Christmas lights on our street were on and then they went, but then they went off. Oh no, teased my big sister. 
How will Santa find us in the dark? Don't worry, I said. My hippopotamus knows all about fairy lights and Christmas. He will show Santa the way to our house. <laughs> he has lots and lots, lots and lots of lights on his body. Oh, and he has a big red nose like Rudolph. You remember that song? It wasn't Rudolph the Red-Nosed Hippopotamus. That would sound funny. <laughs> oh dear, what's he wearing? <laughs> My family dresses up in Santa suits. My hippopotamus loves dressing up too. He looks very Christmassy. Can you see? He's and even has Christmas decorations on his nails. <laughs> Oh. We love carols by candlelight in our street. Grandpa and I sing as loud as we can. Sometimes we forget the words and just sing la 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 instead. My hippopotamus on the roof knows all the words. He sings carols by candlelight all the time. <laughs> it's nice singing. Did your mummy sing? Oh, tonight is Christmas Eve. I'm so excited. We hang up our stockings and leave carrots out for the reindeer and milk and gingerbread for Santa and my Christmas present for Hippo. I ask my hippopotamus to look out for Santa. I try to keep awake, but my eyes just won't stay open. He looks very, looks excited. He's waiting up. Oh, that looks like Santa. He comes in by a sleigh with reindeer and all the presents. Oh, that looks on well, Christmas morning. It is Christmas morning and Santa has come. All the stockings are full. Everyone is happy and noisy. There's a big present for me from Hippo and there's a hippopotamus on our roof opening the present I made for him. Looks like he made him a gingerbread. <laughs> he had lots of presents. Is that a picture? I wonder if he's, I wonder if Hippopotamus has given him a picture. Let's have a look on the next page. Oh, Nanny can't help it. Yeah, oh, yes. Merry Christmas, Hippopotamus. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> that looks like fun. Well, that was ho, ho, ho. There's a hippopotamus on my roof eating Christmas cake. It's an unusual story, that one. Well, I hope you had a good night's sleep and you have a nice story to wake up to in the morning. It's always very, very shiny in here today because it's so dull outside and I have all the lights on in here. It's, and Nanny Deb got her hair wet while I was skimming the pool. All right. You have two fingers. Nanny Deb had to take her nail polish off, but, oh, can I show you my toes? There's oh, nail polish on Nanny's toes. <laughs> Can you put your toes up there as well? I saw you put your toes up to your mouth once. I don't think Nanny Deb can do that. Okay, ready? Nanny Deb kiss. Okay. Well, I will talk to you again soon, my little delicious Marley May getting ready for Christmas. And ready to do it again? Mwah, 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 mwah. All right, I love you very much. I'll send you a big kiss. <sighs> Did you get that? I hope so. All right, I will talk to you soon. And have a wonderful day. And then hopefully mummy can show me some pictures of you swimming in the pool. Because then when you come to Nanny Deb's house and you can do kick, kick, kick in the pool. All right, we will see you soon. And you have to bring your big sister Flo. I hope she can swim. Okay, good. All right, I love you very much. Bye-bye, Mama Lime.